Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make um, doll faces um, for your clothespin dolls. A lot of people have been asking me about, well, how do you make the faces? And um, so today I'm going to show you how. Um, you start off by basically painting um, your clothespin doll head, whatever skin tone that you're going to work with. And then there's a couple of ways you can go about this. You can take a pencil and just draw on you know the eyes nose mouth whatever and if you mess up when you're using a pencil you can always erase it and that makes it really easy um and whether you use uh, a, a sharpie paint pen i don't know if you can see that but sharpie makes these pens that actually are paint or if you just use a regular sharpie um either way you go just make sure you paint the um doll first because otherwise it'll uh the sharpie or paint will bleed into the uh wood because it's you know the wood isn't a uh a finished wood okay um if you want there's another way to uh do your doll faces you can get these little rub on doll faces and what you do is here i have some that are already cut out so you just cut them off of the uh plastic thing okay here's one and then I just take some scotch tape and you just figure out where you want the face facial features to go and then you just put it in position and then take your scotch tape and then tape it down this holds it in place the rub on face um, and then you just take, usually they give you like a little popsicle stick and you just rub it. Or you can use a buffer from, um, you know, uh, from a nail, nail kit. Either way you go, just rub it on really hard. I'm not rubbing real hard here. And then when you peel it off, you'll have the perfect little doll face. Um, let me see. Here's one where you kind of get this little doll's, oh no, expression. Um, and then here's a little rub on face and then I added to it with some paint and some color and some lips and that came out pretty cute. Um, if you want to get like perfect circle eyes for your doll, um, well this is red but you obviously would use black paint. And you just take your paint and usually if you've shaken your paint up really well, um, just take it off and there's usually a little bit of paint in the top this kind of saves in having to use some other container to put your paint in and then pour it back into your 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 uh, paint bottle so that's like a lot of effort but usually if you take um the tip of any paintbrush a small one and just get a little bit of paint on there if you want to use paint you can end up making a pretty perfect circle of paint so and then you can just work with it a little bit it's a little bit easier doing it this way than actually just going ahead and using the brush. Um, cause you get the circle will be the perfect diameter that you want for a little circle. And just put a little bit on there, put a little bit more. And that's going to be, oops, sorry. That was out of camera range, but, and there you have your little blushing doll cheeks. Yeah, and that's just one way to do it. So, today I've actually kind of shown you a couple of ways to get your little doll faces. Um, using the tip of a paintbrush and some paint, you can get your eyes, your cheeks, um, draw onto your doll, to your wooden head. Let me just set this aside so it'll dry. Um, or take a pencil, draw your doll's face. You could draw your smile. Draw your eyes, put some eyelashes, and a little nose, and then just fill in the rest with color. And then use your Sharpie pen or your Sharpie paint pen, and then just fill in the blanks. Um, draw it in a little bit more, as you can see here in this doll. Um, and there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to making doll faces. So you can start with a pencil, uh, use a Sharpie, use a paintbrush, um, use the little rub-ons. Any way you go, you'll end up with a very cute little doll face. And practice makes perfect. 
trust me, I messed up a whole bunch of little doll heads till I kind of perfected it a little bit. And then I'm still kind of working in, it's a work in progress. So whatever works for you, um, feel free to, you know, drop me a line and let me know because I love to see um, the results of what other people get out of having fun making clothespin dolls. And until next time, bye, bye. What do you think? Yeah, that was cool. Okay, that was cool. Yeah.